show starring what's his name what's his name's guest tonight are burt reynolds the king singers and consumer advocate david horowitz and now here's what's his name <laughs> making those road trips a lot of fun. <laughs> well, you guys did it, huh? Yeah. They did it. They did it. There they were. Nice. We'll talk about it. I'll come over a little bit later because I want to see that close up, all right? Did you watch the Grammys last night? Okay. Right. Glittering production numbers, big name stars, pulsating music. Unfortunately, the commercials didn't last longer. <laughs> the Grammys, that's... The entire music industry turns out, for one reason, to look at Whitney Houston's legs. Yeah. I'll, I'll get hot in a minute. I think the highlight of the show, personally, you may disagree. The way things are going, I'm sure you will. Uh, was Nancy Reagan and Don Regan singing, That's What Friends Are For. <laughs> you were just testing me, weren't you? You were, you let me die for three jokes and say, Jason, he's struggling. Let's have my hand. <laughs> now, I, maybe we're getting a little older. Of course we're getting older. But some of those music groups, I mean, what, whatever happened to Anson Weeks? <laughs> Wayne King, Ted Weems, did you see the old word rock band, the Slingat? <laughs> Good music. This is, this looks like the kind of blind date they're warning you about now. <laughs> no, nothing, no, nothing. Then there were the what, the, the Beastie Boys? Yeah. <laughs> they acted like their brains had gone platinum. <laughs> Well, it's, anyway, it is Wednesday, February the 25th, 1987. I say that in case President Reagan is watching. <laughs> so he can jot down what happened today. The, now, the president is, a, is the leader of the free world. He's having a, a little difficult time now. But I understand he's not going to rely on his memory anymore. Even in the shower, he's got diary on a rope. <laughs> the president, I suppose it could happen, right? The president says he, he doesn't remember. What I want to know is, how come as soon as they're out of office, they remember everything for the book? <laughs> I've often wondered that. <laughs> Something else I've been wondering about. <laughs> You, I have a feeling that every every time they play the Little Shop of Horrors, the White House gets a royalty. <laughs> I wonder about that. <laughs> have you seen Oliver North's secretary? Yeah. Fawn Hall. <laughs> I love that name, Fawn Hall, and a good-looking girl. Yep. NBC is, you know. Network thinking all the time, sign her for a new series, Ollie's Girls. <laughs> and in the first episode, Ollie says, Juan, your first assignment is to sleep with the Congress and find out what you can. Of course, if you're caught, the president will disavow any knowledge. That's it. <laughs> I don't know. Perhaps Mission Impossible has been off the air too long. <laughs> On the hall. She received an honor already today. Voted the girl I'd most like to shred with. <laughs> but 
But they have. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> they have a special prosecutor. Do you know about this? Looking into the Iran scandal. And they, he gave Fawn Hall immunity. Now, if I were the special prosecutor, she would have got immunity. And a house, too. <laughs> Secretary's name Bambi. <laughs> I wonder about things like that. Did you know you were a Marine? Did you know Oliver North? I did not. Oh, he's one tough Marine. First thing, gets out of bed in the morning, pins on his medals, then puts on his shirt. <laughs> <laughs> did you read the strange mix-up in the music stores? It was in the paper today. Some compact discs of Sid Vicious and the Sex Pistols. Oh. You know that group? Sid Vicious were mislabeled in a recording plant as Lawrence Welk's <laughs> greatest polkas. <laughs> True. 10,000 of them went out. Can you see Lawrence Welk fans spinning that thing? <laughs> what must have happened. I saw a little old lady today had a Mohawk hairdo and an... Uh, and a safety candidate. Then I saw a punk rocker with Myron Florin on his ghetto blaster. <laughs> Imagine buying a Lawrence Welk album and you get Sid Vicious and the Sex Pistols. They found that out when the paramedics had to rush over the Burbank retirement home on polka night. <laughs> okay, we've got a good show for you tonight with our Grammy Award winning band, of course. What can I say? Mr. Burt Reynolds. Is yeah. in a marvelous group that's been on this show before last night. Unfortunately, I introduced them as the King's Sisters. And of course, they're not sisters, they're four guys. Or six guys. What is it? Five guys. And they are the King's Singers. That's it. That's it. See, I was hearkening back to days of Albino Ray and the King Sisters. Right. Didn't they sing with Albino Ray? They did. Right. right. <laughs> Thank you, Bobby. I, I wonder about things like that. <laughs> Who am I leaving out? I'm leaving out David to uh, read those labels. Horowitz is coming out here and show you how not to get this off. Hey, hey. Folks, folks, the longer you applaud, the shorter the monologue. <laughs> 